Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend. Cause you're way too stuck in your head. How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that day. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amoy. Thank you for tuning in. If you are new here, this channel is all about discussing and balancing my career, life, uh, lifestyle, home decor, all the things, and now introducing motherhood. While recording this video, I'm currently 32 weeks pregnant. So I'm at the eighth, eight month mark and i have done a ton of research i have watched all the videos <laughs> i'm semi ready to share with you what i have on my bedside nursery cart which is why i'm filming from my bedroom today and my bedroom is also going to be undergoing a major decor process that i feel is going to bring us more into uh parent friendly bedroom i feel like what we got going on now is very simplistic very laid back a lot's coming a lot of changes but let's get into this video where we discuss the bedside nursery cart i'm hoping that my bedside nursery cart setup is helpful to you and i'm going to talk a little bit about the products that i have on there a lot of the things that i've seen that are consistent with other first time moms but also other moms that are second third fourth time moms um, one thing that has remained consistent that I'm noticing, I don't, I personally don't want to have a ton of stuff on there to kind of get too, too busy. So this is what my cart's looking like. So let's talk about diapering. So on the top shelf, it's going to be everything we need for diapering. So we have our diapers, our water wipes. We're sticking with the Pampers brand and the water wipes brand for now, just to see if baby adjusts. Things will change and I'm pretty sure of that. So when they do, I'll re I'll update this video. We're gonna also have on that top shelf, a it's a weighted wipe warmer. So this is what the wipes are gonna go into. I just reach over when I'm ready for it to use it for babies. Bum bum. Um, we were gifted diaper cream, diaper cream applicator. I'm very old school. I basically raised my two younger brothers, so I'm used to just wiping stuff on the their butts or wiping it on the pampers directly with clean hands, of course. And I must say, I'm also going to add, add hand sanitizer to this cart once I'm closer to my due date. But yes, I have a diaper cream applicator. Things and times have evolved, so you apply the creams directly to the pampers and then the pampers of course to babies but while we do have a portable changing pad that can go directly onto our bed we're going to have a changing table already stationed in our room back there is the 
um, portable bassinet and I'm gonna have on our dresser her changing pad. It's the Kikaru changing pad. So we're going to use that um, in the middle of the night. And obviously, I don't know what's gonna happen when we tire, probably gonna use a blanket, lay the blanket out. I'm just being real. Like that's the realistic side of parenting. So we not all are, we're not always going to want to get up out of bed to change our baby. So yeah, we're gonna just use the blankets that I have on the cart and change the baby that way. I actually brought the cart in here so I could see visually what I have on the top. So I also added some cream, some aquaphor, um, some dusting powder. I grew up on Johnson & Johnson, but you know things and times have changed. There are less toxic versions of things um, that we're now learning about. So I'm not gonna be a crunchy mom. I'm, I grew up in the 90s, early 2000s, and we still surviving healthy. But that doesn't mean when you know when you know better, you do better, right? So we, we're trying to go the most non-toxic route for our baby, so. We have some Cetaphil, oh, this is not the lotion, but we do have Cetaphil lotion um, for the baby. The Windy um, Gas Passer for when baby is like backed up, have a lot of gas going on, as well as Diaper Balm, um, in addition to the uh, Aquaphor, three-in-one diaper rash cream. We also have this little pouch with uh, different essentials for her, um, nail cutter, things like that. Um, when her nails get too long, or if we see that we need to file something down in the middle of the night or whatever. Also at the top, we do have a electric nail filer, so that will work out great too. Um, as well as a thermometer. We have her, um, her nose cleaner. We do also have the Wellamits, Well Elements, Wellmits, <laughs> Wellmits Organic Gripe Water. I did put that on the registry, and um, my best friend bought out the whole Wellamits brand line thing. So we're set there. The middle shelf. This is where I keep the breastfeeding essentials, change of clothes essentials, as well as the blankets for the bed, like I discussed earlier, or for baby. I also want to say shouts out to our friend Georgia and Carvin for gifting us with these Amazon storage baskets. <laughs> They're really, 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 really um, convenient. So inside each basket, um, this first one has her two change of clothes, um, change of sleepers, as well as three um, onesies, short sleeved onesies because I don't want her overheating in the middle of the night. If she is a, I'm praying that she is a swaddle baby because we do have quite a few swaddles. So if she's a swaddle baby, we do have two swaddles in here, some short sleeve onesies as well as two long sleeve sleepers. And then in the next basket, we're going to have two mom cozy blankets. These are linen as well as three burp cloths. Um, they kind of double as burp cloths and bath, like washcloths for her bath times. Um, but I'm gonna be using these specific ones for her burp cloths when we have to burp her in the middle of the night. And then we have two pairs of socks and two pairs of mitts. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be a mom. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is my reality. This is my reality now. Oh God, but I'm ready. I'm excited, I'm nervous, all the things, all the feelings. But anyways, I digress. And then I have this clear um, container that I might use for dirty things like dirty diapers, dirty clothes, whatever the case may be. In the middle of the night, let's be real again, ain't nobody getting up five, 10 times to throw away or to put certain stuff in the laundry basket. That will be for the morning. So I do have this clear container to kind of hold the dirty things or the not so clean things or kind of like a waste basket. Um, and that's going to be on the second shelf. And then right next to that, we have all the breast pump things. I actually so bought this motif breast pump on Facebook Marketplace three, no, two years ago because it was when we first moved into our house. And if you have watched my testimony video, you will know that my husband and I 
we've been trying for a while um but even before you know while we were trying i was actively getting my mind in a place of faith just purchasing things off of faith so when i saw this motif breast pump on facebook marketplace for 30 bucks and i looked at the retail price and it was like over a hundred dollars it's like yes i'm buying that <laughs> Um, and it's been with me ever since we moved into our home. And now God is so good. I'm going to be able to use it prayerfully because I do intend to breastfeed, but we don't know what could happen. So the goal is to breastfeed. So we have all the breastfeeding things here in this basket on the second shelf. And on the third shelf, I'm going to have a basket with snacks for me. I haven't put it there yet because again, like I mentioned, I'm 32 weeks. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty further out than, you know, maybe the 35, 38 week mark where you want to start putting those stuff there, but I don't want stale snacks on my cart. So we're going to leave that. So, lastly, on the bottom shelf, I do have a, a portable um, bottle warmer. That is actually going to stay in the room. I'm not going to, I might keep it on the cart, but I might just keep it on the dresser. Probably keep it by my nightstand so that it's easily accessible when I want to warm up a baby bottle. Um, we do also have a bottle warmer in the kitchen, but we're gonna also have a mini fridge in here. So baby's bottles, breast milk, whatever, it will be easily accessible in the middle of the night. I did also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I do also have some pacifiers on here. We're going to hold off on pacifiers for as long as possible. If there's a soother or some way that we can soothe the baby, um, if pacifiers are it and it doesn't interfere with breastfeeding, then I am going to go that route as well. To add a few personal touches to the bedside nursery cart, I will keep a few of my baby's books on there just so that if we want to read to her in the middle of the night to kind of soothe her back to sleep, we're also going to have these night lights on the And there you have it. That is my must haves for a bedside nursery cart. Um, it's going to be well stocked and it will look different each time I'm sure but this is how I want to start out um, just keep it light and simple if you have any questions or if you want to share what you have on your bedside nursery cart that I may not and you found it useful please share that in the comments below I am a first-time mom so I have done some research and I find that this is the essentials that I think I'm going to need nothing more nothing less for me and my family and how we kind of are trying to build a new dynamic and looking forward to that new dynamic and those middle of the night time changes. With that said, I hope you found it helpful or valuable. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please like, comment down below what you loved about it and feel free to share it with another mom to be. Oh, another note. I'm also currently reading Baby Wise giving your infant the gift of nighttime sleep. If you have read this book or you are currently reading it as well, please let me know what you think and if any of the tips and the tools presented in this book helped you. My husband and I are almost finished, but we just wanted to learn about other people's experiences using the baby wise methods. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a blessed my side of the bed closest to the bathroom so this will more than likely live right here <laughs> or down here we shall see